Hey guys, welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you how to submit an assignment within Google Classroom. So obviously you need to be logged into your Google account um, where you are a part of the class. And as you can see here, we are a part of this class, English 202. Uh, what you're gonna see here, this is called your feed down here below. So where you see kind of the title and the image here of what the class is and kind of what it's about here. Uh, you'll also see some upcoming links here of some things that may be upcoming as far as assignments and tests and quizzes and whatnot. But this is your main feed here. As you can see, we have an assignment right here. If we go to classwork here, you can see uh, the assignments are going to be listed out here. Now, this assignment has no due date just for the purposes of this video, but normally your assignments probably will have a due date as to when you need to turn them in. So if we go back to our stream here, we can see the assignment. If we go to classwork, we can also see the assignment. So it really doesn't matter how you get to it. So click on the assignment uh, once you're ready to go. And as you can see, we have a link here at the bottom that says view assignment. So go to view assignment. Now we're going to see here that, you know, telling us all about the assignment and what it is. Uh, the class comments, this would be a good place to put a comment that you think would be a question that others in the class may have. These comments here under class comments are public. The ones under private comments, these will go directly to the instructor or the teacher involved in the assignment or the course directly to them. No one else will see the, the private comments if you have something in particular about a question about the assignment. All right, so there are two ways that you can now turn in an assignment. The first way would be if the teacher or instructor provided you with a template here, as you can see this attachment, it normally will have your first and last name dash whatever the, the assignment is, okay? So what we do then is we could then click into that template, we could then save it and then go from there. Uh, that's how you would kind of do that. So you would basically save this document to your Google Drive um, as whatever the, the document is with your first and last name as the instructor sent it over to you and then you would turn it in that way via the template. Now, the way that most of you are probably doing is right here where it says add or create. If we click the add or create button there in the upper right hand corner, we're gonna see that we can either create a new document, slides, sheets, or drawings. Now you'll know obviously from the details from the assignment what you need to submit. Uh, but normally what you would do is you would just go to your Google Drive if you've been working on a doc, but if you haven't started it yet, obviously, then you would create a new document. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go add or create, go to our Google Drive. We're then going to go and find whatever that document is that we want to upload, double click on that. And then as you can see now, the green turn in button comes available to us here. So when you're ready to turn it in, you've uploaded the document needed for the assignment. Click or tap on turn in. It'll say, are you sure you want to turn in your work? click turn in, and then you are good to go. Now, at this point, if you want to unsubmit or you've figured out, oh, there's something I forgot to include and the teacher hasn't looked at it yet, then some instructors in some courses will give you the option to unsubmit where you can click this button here under your work and it will allow you to unsubmit. Now, if we go back to the class page here, you can see uh, right here under classwork, you can see uh, turned in. So that'll let you know that this assignment has been turned in. So that's how you turn in an assignment within Google Classroom. If you have any further questions about Google Classroom, you can put those in the comment section below, or I actually have a full Google Classroom tutorial and overview showing you everything you need to know about the actual Google you know, Classroom platform for teachers and for students. I'll put that in the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.